Welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr. And for a second there, I thought it was getting dark, but no, it's only 11 o'clock. In game. In, in real life, it is dark. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. A lot scattered. Trying to do too many projects at once. I finally got the mess over my shoulder there cleaned off, so the bench is ready. I just need to figure out where I'm going to mount the cameras so I can start recording the unboxing of the Telecaster. Uh, I think, yeah, <clears throat> you can kind of sort of catch a little corner of the box in uh, in frame. That's going to be wonderful once that gets started. That is one of, I hope, to be two, maybe three practice guitars before the one that I do for the Great Guitar Build-Off, which I am enrolled in. Um, more information on at greatguitarbuildoff.com. Oh, doggone it. You, you, you couldn't have told me that uh, right before I went live. Uh, I knew I forgot something. I mean, honestly, I wish we could play three person in that, but... Oh yeah, that that would be kind of nice, but OMG, that would be awesome. Uh, well, I mean, we did when when the the old Republic MMO was out, and then it started stinking. Oh uh, yeah, well. Uh, oh, that's right, because I was in the middle of that when you told me the dinner was ready. That's what happened. My I, bad. No, 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 well, no, no, no. no. I, I'm I'm just I'm that easily distracted right now. That's all. No. Right now? No, uh, I was... Mm. You can't... You know, you can see it. Just on a delay. I'm making a face. <laughs> I'm impervious to this face. You've been making that face for 34 years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, 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 I guess that's kind of a mutual thing. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Somebody I... sounds grumbly. Will you kill them? Hmm? Somebody seems grumbly. Somebody sounds grumbly. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they are. No. <laughs> Red lady! <laughs> I'm not playing with you anymore. Now. I, I don't I don't hear anybody. You don't? I do. I don't see anybody. Oh, I've also got some rock and background music too, so. I heard lots of people and you don't listen to things. Huh? Oh, no, there is somebody. Huh. Oh, hmm, that was right. Hmm. Never happens. Nope, never happens. Do you know how much you guys annoy me with that? What? Nothing. You guys, I'm just over here in the cave, minding in my own business. All right. <laughs> Cute. So, uh, <laughs> I don't even know which project I'm going to work on. I got the roof project that needs to be worked on. It, I've got half an idea in mind that might might solve my dilemma. Uh don't don't know how well that's going to work. I could work on that back part too, and filling that mountain in. We we've got enough spare stone that I can start building that out. Um, I I I don't know what I need to do to fix the blast chamber for the TNT farm or for the TNT farm for the tree farm. Uh, so that's on hold until I can figure out what what I need to do. Uh, raise the roof? Yes, we should totally raise the roof. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I I need to get the actual course farm together. We we got the flower farm. We just need the actual course fruit farm. Uh, I need to relocate some trees to make that happen. I need to finish fixing that bamboo farm. Uh, I need a kelp farm somewhere. Uh, I need to get the, the villagers and the crop farms in that building that I'm flying around. Uh, and, and I, I, hello, Beach Duck. And I was more than a little tempted to just head out hello. over here. 
and uh, do do a little Zen gardening instead. Because uh, my Fitbit agrees that I have indeed been sleeping poorly, and and that leads to distractedness and craziness. And uh, I'd still like to try to make this part of the uh, shiny emerald retirement home for villagers, and uh, make make this the little you know uh, lakefront resort. You know, put a couple of boats down, uh, retrain this as more of a sandy beach, put a couple of tables and whatnot, and, you know, as one does. I didn't mean to fly that far up. Uh, hi, guys. I need to name these guys, too. I need some good names for dogs. Ironic and punny. The punnier, the better. <coughs> Not Fido. We've already got a Java. <laughs> Rufus. Rufus. I, I think you're just mocking me about the whole roofing thing at the moment. Cat. <laughs> uh, despite the Alanis Morissette song, that is not ironic. Tiny? No, that would be an ironic name for Java. Uh, I guess one thing I can do is I can at least work on getting those windows the same size as these windows. Um, mm -hmm. How tall are these windows? I don't know. It's been so long. Ah! That is Call him Fur Baby. <laughs> fur Baby. And I can go get, I, I have a cat over there somewhere too that I can name dog. Matter of fact, I've, I've got some cats that I really need to find a use for now. Uh, I tamed them with the intention of using them in the creeper farm, but uh, I ended up using a different design for the creeper farm. So, uh, where are they? Yeah. They're, they're, they're sitting over here waiting for me to find a use for them. Hi, guys. They're cats. There's not a use. They're <laughs> safe. I they're, they're there for their own protection. And, and the site is even marked off, so that way, you know, they don't get forgotten about. Except for the part where I actually forgot them. <clears throat> now, I, I, know, I know that there's something you can use them for. I mean, if you really want to get crazy... You can uh, you you can use them for um, beds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. There, there's an actual cat farm, uh, not for farming cats. Creeper farm. Hmm. Uh, creeper we, farm we requires got, cats. No, we got a, we got a creeper farm that does just fine without the cats. Um, my brain today. Not stop. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I said nothing. I put grass blocks down. I I stopped you before you said anything. We both know that. No, you did not. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I was being good. Ah. <clears throat> we have some inventory space. Uh... So, pink <laughs> and beach duck. How are you guys doing today? Okay, Bark Twain has, uh, th th that's got a little more merit to it. Where'd all my white stained glass go? That is white stained glass, right? Yeah, okay, that is white stained glass. Um, quartz. Hello, project. Uh, my project box appears to be as disorganized as this project's owner. Like, why is there ten random ingots and in... never mind I don't want to know or the uh okay let's uh <laughs> Chewbarka hmm I'll have to think about that one turn that into white dye first to grab the crafting table. Parker. Alright, uh, let's toss 
that in there for the moment. Yeah, okay. Nope. Oh, scaffolding. Where... Oh, where is my scaffolding? Oh, what this is coming to. Yep. Nah, I, I, I don't get the Jimmy Choo. Is that is that a reference to something? Why, why do I feel old going? What is, is that a reference wrong to something? With you? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? What is wrong with me? In the world, this explains Anon's fashion. Hey, <laughs> I, I feel like I should feel. I'm insulted. just saying. Oh, you, dude, like, <laughs> it is one of the big name brands that even people who aren't into fashion should know. I, I'm glad you said should instead of do, because I, I think I can definitively prove I do not. Um, I noticed. It's okay, you hurt my salt. It's fine. Where, where's the basalt? Uh, the little basalt? Um... Mm. Or maybe that's just going to be the stream. And on Junior making grumbly noises. Impre <laughs> I'll replace all the uh, pillager noises with me grumbling into the microphone. No. Oh time, huh? yeah, Pinky. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Th Pink, thanks, don't, Pinky. don't, don't try. It's just not gonna work. Um, there is no helping it. You, you, you do know that I go shopping for shoes when the soles... we don't discuss the painful things. I uh, look as long as there is at least enough tread to cause friction to happen and me to continue walking, I will continue wearing the shoes. And sometimes even despite that. Will you come down here and start up your pattern for the um, underground place so that I can figure mm -hmm. out? Never mind, I figured it out. It's a 9x9 nine nine block. Huh? Oh no, what are you doing? What, what am I doing? Just had a. Are you? Doing? You said something about a. Oh, oh, oh! Not sweetberry bushes. Um. You were just talking about a pattern or something, and. Yeah, I need to figure out where to put the sea lanterns down here so that I can. Oh yeah. Uh, start the pattern. Yeah, three blocks apart. Not a nine by nine, though. Goodness gracious, no. What do I do with, like, intersections like this? Uh, make it up as you go along. That's what I've been doing. Alright. How many blocks tall is this, anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven? Yeah. One. Two, three, I notice our friend is not four, dead yet. Five, six, seven. Okay. Seven blocks. Which friend? Whoever he was making grumbly noises. Oh, yeah. I, I can't figure out where that is. Okay. Where's my window? 
Maybe this window. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I made these windows up here too wide and those down there one wide. Well, why did you do that? It seemed like a good idea at the time. And now? Not so much. Okay. So... That should be seven tall. I guess I'll just keep that too wide. Uh, anybody have a bed handy? Nope. Uh, I used to have one over here. Where did it go? Probably over by this project, isn't it? Oh, whoop! I don't know. I still got a lighter. I don't know what happened there. You did be stuck. Yeah. You missed our soul being crushed. Okay. Because someone should know things by now. What? Never mind. Nope, oh, not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna steal the bed from this project and put it over by the other project. Because that's how projects work. Isn't it? Hey, honey. Uh-oh. Yep. Mm. Arcadius? I, I think he's actually walking over there. Who's not intentionally ignoring my summons? Nope, not this time. And from there, we had that going that way. That going that way. Minecraft makes you use the super precise geometry to get everything exactly where you want it. Um, it is going to make life interesting now, isn't it? That's where I stopped that. Uh, so how's everybody else doing? As a uh, scattered... Oh! Oh, before I forget. Because my brain is scattered. And I will forget if I don't mention it. On uh, Cord Killers today yesterday. I was listening to it today. Uh, apparently Nintendo was working with Netflix on a live action Zelda series. Was? You said was. Yeah. Yeah. Because when the information leaked they canned it. No. Yes. Uh, they were also working on a live action Star Fox. If you had that on your bingo card, do a barrel roll. Uh, and when that information leaked, they canned it. Party foul. Yeah. I, I was kind of sad about that one, too. Especially, you know, like... All of it. I, I was going to say especially something, but you know, no, no especially. All of it. 
Especially all of it. I need to know who leaked it because something bad is going to happen. Oh. And I don't think they're going to like it. <laughs> Are you going to hunt them down? Like that dude in that movie. <laughs> she has a particular set of skills. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, good. You're back. You can come help. Hmm? What? No, I'm not back. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh... I'm doing things for the server. Oh, this oh went there like that. And that went like a so. Ask not what your server can do for you. Uh, yeah. I don't think that one's going to work either. Ah, <laughs> uh, but... Okay, so I, I'm just glad that I'm not the only one who was super disappointed in that whole... Uh, no Zelda, no Star Fox. All my stuff flying all the way over there. Like never? Uh, I'm not going to say never because there never seems to be a never. But it sure isn't going to happen anytime soon. Maybe they just lied and really you're going to continue it. Uh, sure. <laughs> that, that's a theory. Or maybe they <laughs> faked the leak so that they could have this moment so that it'll throw everybody off the trail because now henceforth, if anybody leaks anything or anybody <laughs> works on it, they can just be like, no, come on, that's old news. Could you at least get new news? Uh, Which would be an amazing strategy. That's a theory. Like, that would be good. That would be well done. Like, I would applaud such a strategy. Sure. <laughs> Is it the block? Not did I? Oh, there it is. Okay, I did. <laughs> I, I know I've lost. Each deck, it. I can say never to a lot of things. There are a lot of things that I feel comfortable saying never. Know why that Ask wasn't working earlier. People that I've worked with, no and never are my specialty. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I think some of your employees are very familiar with that. No? Never. Oh, yeah. I don't know, Anon. Would you know anything about that? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> Okay. Or more so, they're very accustomed to questions that the answer better be no or never. <laughs> Why, no, I've never overpromised. All right. So, we float on over to one of these trees here. I'm going to raise all those windows. Okay, ever since ever since Medic pointed out that the tall window and the two little ones looked like a surprised face, I'm now wondering if that's one of the those smiley faces with the big <laughs> eye and the little eye, and I can't unsee it now. I cannot unsee it ever since Medic put that thought uh, in my brain. I told him not to tell you. <laughs> like I, I nothing I nothing else will lodge in my brain but a smiley face on the window. I yeah, I don't know. I it don't makes know. me happy. What that that is the thought that got lodged in my brain? No, that you have a smiley face window. No. It's not even a smiley face, it's this ah, face. No, it's just going, oh. <laughs> going, no, 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 no. Or, oh. Like, uh oh, it's magic. No, more, or... li more like a, like a, a, a shocked and awed and a little dismayed. 
Like, oh. Oh. Sorry, counting. It's taking the rest of my brain power. Such as it is. Where is it? Or is the O-Face? <laughs> on the side of his church. Phrasing. What? Yeah, that 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 that's got that weird like Winky. It's like the Winky surprise face. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> All right. And today's flight ops will be uh, conducted by Ono oh Air. As a <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's feeling like one of them days. You could make it your Church of Nope. Church of Nope? Where the Popa Nope lives. I thought it was already Church of the Duck. I mean, we got the big duck in the shrine over there, too. Oh, I'm gonna miss the wall. Nope. There. Hello, lag. I didn't miss you one bit. Oh, well, the Church of a Duck shouldn't have a weird dope sign, then. Feeling a little like George of the Jungle trying to watch out for that tree. Yeah, yeah. No, I watched it. I watched it. All right. Let's move this. I need someone somewhere somewhere a little more easily accessible. Now, if only I knew where that was. Gonna fly with a pork chop though. Oop. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing I'm not working on complicated redstone and instead working on these windows. That uh that could have been bad. I do have to say it's a little weird. Uh, I posted that video last week. Whenever the the first, it would have been the first of February, so more than a week ago, I posted the video that I am entering into the Great Guitar Build Off uh, the day I signed up, and I signed up the day sign up was available, and it's already. Uh, about as well viewed as the uh, um, Villager Voice mod. Well, the build-off thing is kind of popular, and lots of people are probably checking out the competition. Uh, I I had somebody I had somebody mention that it was nice to see an actual another actual amateur enter the competition, and I'm not. I think I know what was meant by that. Because uh, it does seem like there, there's an awful lot of people in in the build-off competition that are uh, home luthiers. Like, like they, they, they yeah. do this work and they get paid well for it. I do kind of feel like there should be a category just for them. What? Like, if you earn oh, over the, a certain the, amount of dollars... <laughs> Oh, for the semi-pro? Yeah, like, if you earn over a certain amount of dollars, or dollar equivalents... Yeah. Uh, I, I don't even know that I'd want to say tie it to a dollar amount, but, I mean, uh, if you produce more than so many guitars in a given time period, you know... True. Uh, uh, where, where is Widget? The video? The video is up on my YouTube channel. 
but since I should probably have that handy, let me go ahead and just you know copy a link to it real quick. That, that, that seems like something I might want to... Oh, I should probably actually add that as a uh, featured video, too. That would be cool. Yeah. I need to remember to do that. With all the other things, too. Uh, oh, I don't think Justin's seen the uh, feedback I sent him for <laughs> politics, politics, politics yet, either. Get shareable link. Link copy to clipboard. And the Crimson Guitars channel has the uh, the actual contest rules and stuff. Uh, GreatGuitarBuildOff.com, I believe, is the website. And has all the all the different you know uh, contestable points. I know that's not the right word. I'll find the right word in a minute. But I am entering in the kit building competition. There's three different competitions for the Great Guitar Build Off. There is the Invitational, which is what last year's competition was technically and what was the unofficial competition last year is now split into two official competitions one is uh, one is a scratch build in other words you take a couple of planks of wood carve away everything that's not a guitar and at voila you have a guitar or something close to the approximating. The other is the kit building competition, and I mentioned this the I, I mentioned this the last time. Uh, I mentioned yeah, I mentioned this last week. Uh, but what I didn't know then, and I do know now, is what is being defined as a kit for purposes of am I in the kit building competition or or not? And apparently. The working definition of a kit is if you uh, is whether or not you built the neck or you bought the neck. So if uh, I find more steel lanterns, hmm? uh, you go down to the Guardian Farm. Okay. Because I AFK'd there a while back, and so we should have enough uh, crystals and whatchamacallits and all that to, to craft more lamps than we could ever need this week. Okay. Uh, anyway, continue. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, no. no. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, the main thing is that... Uh, his contention is that anybody can build a body, but actually uh, constructing the neck, like carving it out and putting in a truss rod and, and attaching the fingerboard and fretboard. Sorry, fretboard. I've been working on violins all day. Those have fingerboards. What's the difference? The little metal bits, the frets. Uh, I built my first guitar kit and I say that as if there was more than one so far there's only the one so far I built my first guitar kit uh, for a for the repair classes I was taking I needed something that if uh, if I epically screwed it up it wouldn't make me cry so I, I, I built a kit guitar and that's what I used for class I I I'm tr I need to uh, I need to actually write these ideas in my notebook. I have a notebook because um, I need to do a video for the unboxing of the Telecaster kit right behind me here. I need to do a video on some fretwork with the ukulele in the bag just behind my chair uh, because I needed to change the strings on it anyway. And when I was taking a look at it, the the frets need a little work. 
and you know that's a good way to go through here's how you do fret work um, I also uh, in cleaning up my workbench found the parts so I can upgrade the pickup selector switch on my Les Paul my Gibson Les Paul sorry I gotta make sure I get the full pretense in there um, And I found the pickup selector switch and control pots to upgrade the SG kit that I built. Um, one of the nice things was the SG was a it, it was a hundred and eighty dollar kit. The other part is that uh, some of the components show where you got the price down to a hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah, I mean, that's the way it goes, right? I know I'm going to need all of those. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but as Bud would say, as long as the wood is good, mm -hmm. everything else can be modified. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 don't don't hear it, I'm not saying. Like, like <laughs> yes, it, it, it definitely has the uh, components of a $180 kit. But, like, like, like we just established... Uh, for a minor investment, uh, I was able to get the control pots, a major upgrade. I've got uh, Chicago Telecom style, uh, usually just abbreviated CTS, control pots from uh, Stu Mac, Stuart McDonald. Uh, the premier and premierly priced place for guitar parts and tools. And uh, a, an excellent place for gift certificates. You know, I'm just, just saying. Your fishies are where they're supposed to be. Oh, they're actually like moving around and doing stuff. They're they're not just kind of yeah huddled in a corner somewhere. I wonder if that's one of the things that got fixed because we recently upgraded up to one point sixteen point five. Um, oh, okay, never mind. That, that's the regular basalt. We, we can, all right. And you left the fishies on. What do you mean? The fishies are always on. The fish farm is always on. The angry fishies? <clears throat> yeah, it, it's either in automatic kill or manual kill. Either way, the fish are going to fall. Let the fishies hit the floor? Let the fishies hit the floor. <gasps> Why is there so much glass and stuff down here? What do you mean? To which glass and stuff are you referring? Nothing. It didn't have a name on it. Did you find a shulker box of glass and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. What color glass and stuff? Oh wait, is it is it are are those the shulker boxes in the boat where you leave and enter? Yes. Uh, those are yours. Those are your project boxes <laughs> that you left because you were going to finish this project. Yeah, so so you're stealing your own shulker boxes back. All those resources okay. were the ones that you're you left stones out at on my the... one unfinished. Huh? Okay. Just just asking uh, if you're throwing uh, stones no, at my no. one unfinished project compared to whose list? Hmm. <coughs> huh? Huh? How's the zoo coming? Let me go get more food. <laughs> I haven't started it, so it can't be unfinished. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it can be. Unfinished is everything right before finished. <laughs> it was a thought. It's not a completed thought yet because no one will help me landscape. What? I can't get help from any of my service mates. What? Well, hold on. <laughs> when did I get help from anyone to build anything out on the... Uh... <laughs> wait, wait. Are, are you sure this is the hill you want to die on? I, I mean, uh, hold. <laughs> I 
I think this is the hill. Honey, please proceed on that hill. I would love to watch you proceed down that hill. <laughs> and what do you mean you haven't gotten any help? I brought you back polar bears and the, the trash pandas and... There are no raccoons in the game. You got the regular pandas. Uh, and no. is there more than one or just the one guy in the boat in the water? I can't remember. No, there's one over there in the uh, glass box, too. Okay, I, I forgot about the guy in the glass box. Uh, he's the man in the box. Yeah. No, he's not the only one. There's another one in there that uh, says totally a panda, but it's actually a polar bear. <clears throat> I mean, totally a panda. I was going for the Alice in Chains reference, but that works, too. Uh oh. Alice Change was like the nineteen seventies. Uh no. <laughs> Alice in Change was not the seventies. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh somewhere over <laughs> No, I, I I'm gonna get lost again, aren't I? You just asked that? I, I, I just acknowledged my fate. Right there. Right there? You mean no, there? No, the person I there? married to. Okay. That guy. Hey, he's actually eating properly this time. <laughs> so we get here. Oh, so, so so this is like Java when you go to, you know, whip out a camera and take a photo. Oh, exactly like Java. You, you, you say the name and he rolls on his back and goes, will you pet me? Unless you're trying to take a picture. Then he's a jerk and stops doing whatever cute thing it was that he was doing. He, he, he did that to me today uh, before I went to go live. He was doing something cute. I grab a f I grab my camera real quick and before I even get the app loaded up, he, he's all like, what? I'm not doing, I ain't doing anything. What are you talking about? Yeah, he has a tendency to be unkind in that way. Are you still wearing that snowman head? You're still wearing that snowman head. I love it. Ask that. <laughs> <laughs> there are some uh, things we just don't ask, and that's one of them. Yep. Okay. Uh, where was I? Good thing I uh, went and got more quartz from the Piglin Trading Farm. How you do? Probably not nearly enough, because I'm going to have to do a lot more quartz around that wall, too. I wonder, how many more stone cutters could we, uh, do we need? Maybe another, uh... Like, the people or the things? The people. The beautiful people. The beautiful people. How you do? Hmm. What do they do? They buy stone and diorite and andesite and other rights, and they they sell you quartz and polished variants. That we like and, them. Oh yeah, especially when you need quartz. No, no, never mind. Those windows are not getting any wider. I, I guess I have used a lot of quartz in this build, haven't I? All that wall. All that roof. All that wall. <laughs> Yikes. Just a bit. Just a bit. Need more lights. I don't think there's enough lighting up there. I, uh, although I do keep wondering if I ought to put something on 
top of the sea lanterns or leave them uh, leave them open like they are. I don't know what I would have hanging down from them or covering them up or whatever, but it's a thought. Speaking of thoughts, uh, have you seen any of the stuff on the new moss blocks that are in the latest snapshot? No. I've heard about it, but no, I haven't seen anything. Because I'm trying to figure out why you thought moss blocks were going to get you blue dye. Or is it just that you want more sources of blue dye? No, you guys said something about a flower. Yeah, an azalea. I thought the flower was going to get me blue dye. No. Yes. No, why, why, do, why would azaleas get you blue dye? Because they're blue flowers. No, actually they're not. And not all of them are And blossom. now I will Google them. You can Google them. But whatever you find on Google doesn't mean that the azaleas that are in the snapshot are blue. The azaleas in the snapshot are some sort of well, purplish the something or other. I am familiar with are blue. Yeah, the these are. So I was picturing the these the are the blue azalea flower. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanted blue dye. Well, there's a lot of want in the world. And they would be a tall thing, so they would get, like, be able to do the farmy thing for the flower. Uh-oh. What? Is there a reason why I'm getting tapped instead of a call on mic? I was just assassinating you. That's all. Oh. I thought you were trying to get me to fly over to see something, and I couldn't figure out why you didn't no. just say, Hey, come take a look at this. No, I'm Did you say assassinating you? What? No. Uh, besides, we, we have a church full of people who sell you blue dye. Like, there's three... Yes, but they Six, sell like three at a time nine. and then they tap out because the people won't work 24-7 because they think they get like working banking hours or something. Which they, is totally not how that works or how that should work. Well, they do work banking hours. Well, they need to quit that and they need to learn what OT is. <laughs> yeah. That about totally that. be the name of the mod pack that lets them work all day. <laughs> the hospital mod y you pay them extra emeralds for stuff outside of normal work hours yeah I'm down with that time and a half <laughs> you pay cost and a half for anything outside of normal yes. work hours I'm totally down with this this can be a thing <laughs> we can make this happen Mo Yang, you hear this? Or anybody, anybody who's uh, decent with the dev work. Saying that this could be a thing, like so easily. And then I wouldn't have to worry about making them go to their station and look at their station. You mean, so we wouldn't hear randomly, look at your station, look at it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I don't know what that's about either. I am practically perfect in every way. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mary Poppins. <sighs> okay. So, before we got sidetracked by Azaleas and Blue Dye, uh... I've been watching a couple of different 
couple of different videos on the Moss Block, and that does it looks like it's going to be a very interesting new mechanic. Uh, in the Caves and Cliffs update that's coming out summer 2021. Whenever that is in the summer, I don't know. But it's going to be summer 2021. Um, the, one of the new areas is going to be Lush Caves. Their words. Um, inside these... Like they have a drinking problem? No, not those Lushes. Um, although, I, we got barrels and we can use the uh, little uh, uh, tripwire hook to make it look like a tap and armor stands to make it look like they're Lush, Lush Caves. Or Lush Caves inhabited by Lushes. Uh, but no, there, there's going to be uh, glowberries, which are vines that have fruit that emit light. And they are farmable, so it's a new light source that is farmable. And uh, I think the berries are also edible? Question mark? Please, please consult your local expert before eating the berries. I think that's how that works, right? Disclaimer given. Anyway. What if there was, like, the wandering trader, but for, like, potions and things? Uh, oh. And he could be, like, the wandering doctor. <laughs> the, uh, the wandering trader will have the ability to give you some of the new plants as well. So if you're having trouble finding lush caves and uh, a variety of other things... You, you can get them all from the Wandering Trader. So, it'll actually be moderately useful. Even without the data back. I feel like I lost a block somewhere, but I can't find it. I guess it won't matter in a minute. Oh, no, there it is. Anyway, so uh, you'll get the, the glow berries. You'll get, uh, you'll be able to find uh, lichen or lichen, depending on whose video you're watching and what country they're from. The uh, lichen grows in caves and emits a very low level of light. Like, I think it's a light level of one. It, it's not enough that it's going to mob-proof anything, but uh, it is currently uh, a block that you can waterlog, and there's all sorts of really curious bits that nobody's entirely sure what is intended behavior and what is unintended behavior at this particular juncture. Uh, so I won't go into too much on that. But one of the other features are going to be these moss blocks. They are... Um, they'll blend in with grass pretty well. Uh, it's a very similar, similar texture, different color. Uh, it is, except that it's all the way around the block. So, like, if you wanted to retexture edges that didn't look like, you know, a little top of grass and then dirt, you could do that without resorting to Optifine or resource packs or any of that kind of stuff. And I can, so I, I kind of like it in that respect. The other nice thing or interesting thing is that if you bone meal. If you use bone meal on the moss block and it's next to dirt, gravel, sand, stone, andesite, diorite, granite, um, and I think that's all of them, it will actually spread and convert those blocks into moss blocks. So you could actually make moss farms if you wanted to, converting blocks of one type into moss. Cool. Maybe. 
Um, Does that mean if you live long enough over, um, like an underground something, like with grass blocks, like no, then the moss. You'll just Right you know, now, one day right, dig down and... Uh, right now, the moss does not spread on its own. It only spreads if you bone meal it. Oh, okay. There, there have been a couple of people who are suggesting that as a feature. Like, uh, probably the, the best suggestion I've seen has been to do that if a light level is below a certain amount. Like, if it's a light level less than four, then the moss will spread. That way you've got ways to curtail the moss growth without um, with, without having it overrun everything you're doing. Which uh, seems slightly important. Uh, the other thing is, is that when you bone meal the moss block, it will actually, in addition to converting moss blocks, it will grow moss layers, well, moss carpet. Uh, it is basically what it sounds like. It functions like carpet, but it has the moss texture on it. Uh, so it works for mob proofing. It works for covering lanterns and that sort of stuff. Which means you can, you've got an easier option for burying lights in the ground and covering it up in a way that that looks you know like the surrounding nature landside uh which is good in its own respect Al although it'd be kind of nice if there were other ways of um spawn proofing does that make sense like what i uh, probably the best recommendation that I have heard suggested is to actually make it a beacon effect. So you set up a beacon and one of the effects that you could have it do instead of jump boost and regen and all that is to have the beacon actually um, prevent mob spawning within its radius. Oh. So, so you don't have to go find a mushroom biome to have a place that doesn't spawn regardless of light level. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. You would actually have a, a way to control it. And then you could start playing with lighting and you don't have to worry about that one, one singular block that has a light level less than seven. That is spawning the creeper that just blew up everything you love and hold dear. I, I mean, ostensibly. Theoretically. Not that this ever happened to you, but if it did. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> That's never happened to me, but I mean, I, I've heard that it is a thing that has happened to people. How did I lose a red nether brick stair? Where did I... No, not how. Where did I lose a red nether brick stair? I don't know, but that is talent. What, that I lost a stair? Yeah. I, I mean, look, I know I've been losing a step, but... night I wouldn't mind something that turns on old man mode unless you sleep before 1833 that could be an entertaining mechanic uh, potentially it could also be an easily abused mechanic nah who would abuse such a thing no one we don't know any gamers, streamers, anybody who would abuse a mechanic. No. We don't watch any of them. We don't. No. Yeah. No, we don't. Totally not a thing. Totally not a thing. Well, it's got to be somewhere. Where did I put it? I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be somewhere.
Did I forget to put one down somewhere? Is that why? No, because then I would have more, not less. Thanks for the warning. But anyway. Well, I... I all the distractions. Okay, anyway. Uh, there are there are some other features of the Moss Block that uh, sound really neat, but it doesn't sound like it's the, the final final version of the way it's going to turn out. I'm not sure how much I want to uh, to get into mechanics that may or may not end up in the game. And that that kind of sums up the conundrum that I'm in right now and on the balance. Um, I, I like watching these update videos. And watching the uh, you know the the different snapshots, trying to get a sense of what's what's going to be coming down the pipe. Um, I just on the flip side, I don't want to end up finding out the 82 different ways that they tried to implement this one particular feature to 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 find that none of it actually made it into the game. Or that it works a completely different way than any of the other previews. Although that that's less likely. Um, they're going to end up with uh, at least one snapshot that has it the way it's going to be in the final version before before it's final. But on the other hand, I don't like walking into new stuff blind. That's how you end up missing really important features and not realizing that they exist, not uh, not having new fun stuff to play with. I think that stair is lost. I probably didn't notice it before it despawned. I mean, it's a stair, but it's also red nether brick, which is famously difficult to... Not difficult. Famously resource-intensive to acquire. Although the, uh, the piglin traders do give you nether brick. Um, it's just a matter of growing enough nether wart, because to make one of... These are, yeah, one of these guys, you need another brick, another brick, another wart, and another wart. Um, they're, they're, they're a little resource intensive. Alright, onward and forward. for that. Yep, another brick in the wall. Another expensive brick lost in the wall, though. That That's the part that... that really just kind of... Oh, hey, good. I had ten left over. That, that's the part that really just bothers me, is that uh, the, the red nether brick is not easy and not cheap. This stuff, on the other hand, 
Uh, we haven't set one up yet, but you can actually get a farm to generate basalt. And, and uh, it's not fast, but it's a lot faster than running around the nether trying to farm it all and then uh, and then make your way out without being blown up by a gas. Okay, it's a lot safer than that, at least. Uh, no, not assaultable. Uh, it's... <laughs> So, some of the alchemy involved in Minecraft recipes is a little weird. Uh, normally, if you get lava going by flowing water, it creates cobblestone. If you get water and... Is it water and lava? Or it's ice and... Uh, it's something involving either water or ice, flowing lava, and soul sand. A and that intersection where those three things intersect uh, is where basalt generates. And then you can get some pistons to push it out of the way and move it into something like, I don't know, a blast chamber. That it, it was on the list of things to put together once that got working. Except I have no idea... Uh, what is wrong and how to f fix it. And it's the, it's the, I'm not sure how to fix it part that's really got me bothered. The, uh, the tutorial is great if you are an expert in all things redstone. Uh, if you're not, however, it is, uh, somewhat lacking. Okay, more than somewhat lacking. Yes, I, I did see that. Although I'm not sure what that has to do with basalt. Or is that focusing on a different Medic. part of the ramble? Because it has been a rambly, ambly kind of kind of mood. the sounds of a puppy being fed. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be done in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, now I, I, I saw that. I saw the apartment at the top of the platform uh, when I went to park myself there in, in getting ready for the stream. It looks nice. It looks like there's a water elevator that goes up there, too. I haven't had a chance to follow all that. Uh, unless it's not finished. Please tell me if it's not finished. Or if it is finished. It, you know what I mean. I, I don't want to end up in a water... A, a water elevator that goes nowhere. Should be everything. You have to go into the water elevator facing the volcano? Oh, let me, uh. Nice. Hang on. Give me about 10 seconds. One locomotive. Oh, I need to sleep first. Somebody needs to sleep. Why? So I can viscerally have my character rested, even if I can't be. I do. Oh, oh, oh let's not fly into the. <laughs> let's not fly into the glass. I do like the design. Are you the reason the Jumpy keeps coming into our room? Hmm? <laughs> 
I said, so are you the reason Jebba keeps coming into our room? No, Because I love that puppy, but like... Oh, no, he has been like all up in my business at night. Nope. Not I. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, I, that, that was the other thing, is I was wondering where the platform ended. Uh, and I take it this gets us back down into the farms. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and this should be slabbed. And Oh, did you ever figure out the uh, the lighting problem in your farm? Wait, did I, did I see something down there? Do you see redstone? I see redstone. And lamps. I see redstone and lamps, and I, I thought, uh... I, I thought I saw something moving down there. Okay, so yeah... No, no fix for the lighting. I guess there's no slowing the ascent. And if I gathered right, this is the uh, AFK spot still. Or this is the AFK spot on this one little blue carpet. Okay, cool. You know, you can uh, move that, or if you, at least if you want to change the color of the glass, you can do that, too. I, I give you full permission to adjust whatever you need to to make that happen. If you're really careful, you can even sub in uh, these fence gates for those fence gates. slow fall potion so you can see that a, a little bit better. Nope, no, 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 no. Yeah, that does look good though. Is, uh, is the elevator only going to be available from that flight path, or are you going to actually connect that up to the ground somehow? I think it is connected to the ground. Uh, well, not, not quite. Hey, look, I finished something. The windows are up. I just got to finish the roof. <laughs> put those away for the moment. Um, let's put those away for the moment. So that's my quartz box. And if I were to put scaffolding away, where would I put it? There we go. And basalt. There we go. That works.
There we go. Yeah, that's a safe way down. <laughs> that's a safe, fast way down. Yeah, I need to... I need to rethink how I want to do this storage. Because the idea is... I'm going to get two farms over here. I'm not entirely sure of the size. I think I might just put a small... A smaller crop farm that I'd originally planned on in there. Um, just so that way it fits a little bit easier. I don't know. Oh! Hi guys. Oh no 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 no. You can go somewhere else. Uh, where did they come from? Is it the scaffolding? Cause I Farms got me jumping. Alright. We'll talk to you later. Peace out. Yeah, I think, uh... I think I might come in here with a bunch of carpet and just carpet everything. Let me put some pressure plates on top of these guys. Because, uh... I need to work down here, but I also need to not have to constantly die. Check. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Oh, no, 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 no. We're we're gonna go away. Go my lines. No, no, no. I, I, I'm doing the low pitched remix. Is that what that is? Yep. Yeah, I I need to I need to, I need to not have uh, residents falling on me as we go about things. I don't know if I want to. Um... Yeah, let me let me go get some carpet. But anyway. Two farms over here, two farms on the other side. So one farm will get uh, wheat seeds and wheat, the other will get carrots, and then over on that side we'll get potatoes, potato, beetroots and beetroot seeds. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter what color it is, does it? Because we have a ton of carpet. It always matters. Huh? It never matters. Until it does. Guess what's done? Uh-oh. What's done? The floor and the lighting. floor and the lighting for the underground. Mm -hmm. Nice. Next excuse, please. What do you mean, next excuse? I've actually made progress what? on your project. We just... My project? You agreed to it. Yeah, I know. Don't, don't, don't remind me of that part. There's redstone on there, so we'll just lay down some carpet. Yeah, this is about my speed. Uh, 
that's gonna be too short for something to spawn? Question mark. That's not though. We'll just put something there anyway. Something, something, belts and suspenders. We may have made too many sea lanterns. Uh, who are you and what have you done with Rast? What, what, what is this too many sea lanterns of which you speak? I only have so many spots in storage. Well, whose fault is that? Uh, yours, because somebody asked originally for a third section, and somebody was like, no, we won't need it, we won't use that much stuff, we never have that much stuff. Uh, A, it was no, we won't need it, and B, that's what we went into the end for all those shulker boxes for. See, problem solved. Nothing another pile of shulker boxes can't fix. Also may have made too many chiseled bricks. Okay, that you can definitely have too much of. Alright, so we got all that there. Oh, that's right. He's but we have more torches on tap now. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, why do I have a box called cat food? Uh, there was a box called cat food outside of the trading hall. Did you pick it up? Apparently. Because it was full of fish for taming cats. Ah. Oh, is that what was there? Huh. Yeah. Wait, um, is that, <coughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not. I'll have to ask Matt the next chance I get. It looks like all the other farms, the rail goes out to here. Okay, and that llama's killing me. I don't know why. <laughs> what was that lull for? For the cat food box? the rail we have a good bit of iron yes um depends why are you asking just cause yeah you, you never ask just because uh, I'm gonna repeat the question why are you asking because I need a little bit ah okay then we we probably do have enough because I want to flex. Oh no! What? I just you know. Anytime you start doing stuff like that, I I, I worry. Well, I'm not allowed to flex. Uh, that's just not usually your style. And when you do, you, like most things, you, you don't until you do, and then you go all out. I appreciate you for restraining from trying to say overboard. <laughs> I mean, I heard it in your voice. Like, I heard your mouth <laughs> wanting to form the words. But I appreciate your restraint. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh! Hi. Hi, friend. How did you hit me? Go away. I'll taunt you another time. Uh, yeah, I was getting ready to go into that. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't a creeper that was going to say, Say what? <laughs> say, say what, what again? again? <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have been very, very, very bad. If a creeper said what? Huh? figure out why none of these seem to match up in style or design. None of these what? These uh, pathways, the way the bricks laid out. I hear you, spider. What do you mean they don't match? Um, on the other side, this is three wide level. On this side, it's three wide in a arch. On that Maybe side, that it doesn't exist at all. Some of the issues? What issues? The only issues we've had so far is uh, with mob spawning. That's uh, the issue with that's why part I'm of it being. The with part of it being. Um... Like, not lining up the top and the bottom because some is even and some is odd? Oh, no, no, no. That is because uh, of miscommunication. A failure to communicate? Yeah. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Um, he... I, I told him the creeper farm design, but I neglected to mention that I needed a one wide center. And ah. so he built it with a two by two center instead of a one wide center. Which makes sense if he didn't know. So. Yeah. So, uh, that's how that happened. Struggling to see where I've been and where I haven't. All right, I, okay, now I'm struggling to see what's left. I can see where I've been. It's nice and blue. Hmm. Of course, the scaffolding doesn't doesn't help either. I need to I need to put something on top of all the scaffolding. Uh, pressure plates will be fine. I just gotta find uh, what what I've got readily available to make pressure plates out of. Because I found out the hard way on a previous project that scaffolding is a spawnable surface. Although that was actually a project in um, last season when the scaffolding was introduced. a couple of blocks then. Because it looks like that's also something that could or should 
be carpeted. And I don't know why I'm throwing random carpet on the floor. So that should be good there. Alright, that takes care of the immediate area. That should be fine because nothing can spawn in a one tall area. Although... I guess maybe he's got that covered. Oop, no, there's one. And that other one's under there. Yep, there that is. Oh. I, uh... I appear to be out of carpet. Hmm. And there's more to cover. Actually, that was not on my list of projects. I'm trying to figure out the logistics of uh, trying to figure out the logistics of the farms down there was, but I don't. Oh, that's right. I gotta figure out why those don't stack. Because uh, I updated the Wandering Trader to give the proper player head for Medic. And I updated the, the Trading Hall guys to give the proper player head for Medic. But n not everyone will stack. Um, if you look, so you see Medic FRCG said, oh, which is still wrong, because um, that should be X Medic Frog. Or maybe I left that. Oh, bother. Uh oh. I know where Rast is about to be. <laughs> let me go, let me go, uh, let me go clear out my inventory. Or do you want me to go find him so you can go gather the blocks? Go find him and I will gather. Okay. Alright, he's gotta be somewhere nearby. Oh, <laughs> uh, Speaking of wandering traders nearby, uh, there is a random trader llama in the nether. How? Uh, how is probably because the wandering traders spawned on top of the portal. Or close enough to the portal that that's where he, one of his two llamas spawned. Oh, here he is. He's over by the front door of the church. Always spawns there. Oh, good. And he's got the updated non-junior texture head, which uh, I don't, I don't know if that'll stack with the existing ones. But I'll get into the whole stacking thing in a little bit. Are you ready? I am. Grab magenta concrete. Got it. Grab lime concrete. You. You put it in the coconut. Your lime looks different than mine. Anyway. Okay. Uh, emerald ore. Oh. Oh. There should be some more. I ores only in there. have three of those. We have literally three in there. Yeah. Uh, emerald ore is kind of rare and it only generates in clusters of one or two. You have your lime and your okay. coconut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, crafting yep. table. Okay. Red sand. I hate sand. Is that what that is? Hmm. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, polished basalt, which I, I I have over here by the church. Okay. A blast furnace. We sh okay. should have a couple of those. Yep, we have 42. Okay. Uh, redstone ore. Okay. Polished andesite. <laughs> nope. I'm just proud that so far I've said that many times today and not added the ah. Okay. And green concrete. Okay. And unless you got a ton of the uh, blue tube coral blocks, he uh, he sells those in the brain coral. Ah. Uh. See, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half stacks. Eh, okay, that should be good for of now. Blue. And two rows of stacks of pink. Hmm. Why so many? Uh -huh. Or is that just the way that's just the way it happened? That's the way it grew. Oh, and yep. if you want some tropi tropical fish, he sells buckets of tropical fish. Um, also, we're missing a couple of paintings. That's weird. Why does that keep happening? I don't know. For a second, I thought the llama was trying to climb the scaffolding. <laughs> I think it can, can't it? Yes, uh, any, any mob can. If you can get, if you can trick them into jumping. You done with them? Yep. Oh, look, he also gave us a wandering trader head and two llama heads. He's so kind. And some leather. Yep. It's amazing. But yeah, uh, occasionally they can spawn up on that platform or near that platform, or one of his llamas wandered into the uh, elevator. That's adorable. Potentially. Uh, leather. Yeah, I like the retextured leather. Um, when, when, when I updated my personal data pack... I added a resource pack that um, recolors the leather the same brown as the le leather items. And I like that a lot better than whatever color it was supposed to have been. It was like a weird tannish kind of color. Yeah. And I forgot to check. Um, yep. And... It, the same the same one gets rid of the extra stripe on the leather stuff. I'm not sure how I feel Is about the that. lodestone the thing that you guys would be offended by if I used to decorate? Yes. Okay. Uh, so these Beast guys... Beast you don't like coconut? That was a little while ago. I just realized it, but what? where did I learn to like it then? I don't know. That, that's a good question about a great many things. Alright, what I need to figure out... Is why... Those are the working ones. Huh. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And now the stack. Ooh. Uh, hmm. The other half what? Which part of the other half? The lime or the coconut? Or is this about something different? No, where I learned to like oh. coconut. Ah. Uh, for Mr. Beach Duck. I wonder if we could get him into Minecraft and building. I'm kind of curious. It would be beautiful and terrifying. It could be. Those are the right ones. And they get placed <laughs> in the world just fine. <laughs> uh, I, I I feel like we could get some amazing things once he uh, once he got the handle on the basic mechanics. I mean for that matter, Beach Duck would probably have have a fun time building in here. Yeah, but I think they both like actual like tact physically tactile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, there's there are plenty of things to collect and find. I, I, I will I will say that. Those do not stack. Okay. So the problem is I need a block that goes good with iron and stone. Iron and stone. Hmm? Uh, is there a particular color you're looking for, like a brighter? Uh, it also or? has to go with glant with the glow thingies. The sea lanterns. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, if you're going with stone, you can work with most of the other variants, like uh, the brick or oh, andesite. Never mind. I got it. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. I feel like I should be worried. Not my problem. Okay, so these player heads should theoretically be stacking like these guys. So that's a stack of 34. And, and anytime you go to add more, they'll stack up until they get to 64 and then start overflowing. For some reason, these guys do not. I can't get. I can't get them to stack on each other, and I can't figure out why. Uh, they have the same name, which is part of it, because things with the same, with different names, will not stack at all, even if they are technically the same item. Uh, if you look underneath X Medic Frog's head, you'll see Minecraft colon player head. That is the tag that identifies what that item is. So. It, that little subtext in there's some keyboard combination you got to do that I can never remember and I always have to Google that shows you the additional information. Um, so that tells me that that item is a player head and it says NBT one tag. Because uh, rather than figure out if you have one or more than one, it, you just put the S in the parenthesis and it makes the coding a whole lot easier. Uh, NBT stands for something that I can never remember, and it's not really relevant because all it really is is uh, information about the block. Um, so something in the NBT data is different between those two, and for the life of me, I'm not entirely sure which. Like if I go slash, oh, not caps, data get entity I think nope not entity uh, block yep oh. so that should be no it didn't give me the data um What? Alright, uh... 
371. Where did 31 come from? 464, 68, 371. Well, do you have to be in creative mode? Because that data command, where it says data get block, that should give you all the NBT data for the item. Okay. <laughs> Need more coffee, maybe? I don't know. Always. So I got to figure out why those guys don't stack like they're supposed to. Uh, in the meantime, I can at least put one of them up there, where it's correct. Mm. Why is that one correct and the other one's... Oh. <laughs> Fine. Same problem with these guys. These gems don't want to stack like they're supposed to. Oh, and uh, that box. That's the retextured non-junior head, the retextured Arcadius head. And for some reason, even though I didn't change anything, that Reyest head does not want to stack. Very frustrating. Um, oh. Let me go grab an emerald before I forget. Everything moved. My muscle memory's off. Emerald. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> Bad. That kind of day. Thank you, Peach Duck. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that that was going to be a side effect either. Uh, when these lights get powered, that technically powers this uh, trapdoor, which means that it ends up doing this until uh, it gets unpowered. <laughs> I, I wonder. If I were to attach it to the top and go down, would it still flap up? I guess we'll find out tonight. Um, these guys are custom villagers. Tweedledee was our original trader. And I think that's one of the ones that won't stack. We'll find out in a second. I think that won't stack for some reason. And that's the old texture that I used at the start of the season. This has the new texture, the new texture. All right, his stack like they're supposed to. Those don't stack for some reason. Those do stack. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> oh, or did the data command go to the server's console and not mine. Everyone's memory's off. 
Yeah, what were we talking about before I get distracted by stacking stuff? Something about memory. Yeah. So, I don't know if we want to start a row for these other gems that aren't stacking for some reason. <laughs> but these, these, these only arrive when, uh, Uh, when you buy them. So these are the guys that generate naturally in the world. These are the ones that you buy from the trader. But they should be the same. That's the part that's confusing me. guys lost everything and oh bother what well now all the gems are coming back player head instead of gems I yeah that's been happening a lot of late I would like to know I why. thought it was just a thing no not supposed to be a thing And yet, here we stand. Yep. Yep. Oh. Uh, I didn't measure that out right. <laughs> oh. I put pork chops in there for some reason. Pork chops don't go in storage. Pork chops go on the grill. Yeah, I don't know. I, I lost the total thread on that one, but that's one of the things that I need to troubleshoot is figuring out why these guys aren't stacking the way they are or the way they're supposed to when they should have identical NVT data, and now I get to add why the gems are popping back with player head instead of, uh, instead of gem. Um, maybe I need to go reload the data packs. Uh, oh. <laughs> I also found out, uh, from a little birdie that, uh, somebody was confused about how the player graves works. Because they do function a little different now. Instead of the old, uh, you crouch to get the, uh, to get the stuff back. You, uh, you now right-click and use the, uh... Here. Uh... Oh. oh. I don't, I don't think I thought all that, that all the way through. That had my rocket. seems to be the theme for the evening. So now, instead of the old graves, you get these guys. The, a little extended fence post. And all you should have to do is right click and you get all your stuff back. There's the torch, the rockets, and a fraction of the XP that I had. Oh, and my pork chops, the important stuff. But uh, apparently somebody mined out the grave instead of 
re-clicking on them. Uh, also, crouching on the grave uh, sets it so that way nobody but you can retrieve the items. I don't know why, if you found your way there, you wouldn't want to grab them right then. But that's that's a function. It's a thing. It's a feature. But, um... Alright. So, we got our windows set back up. I'm probably going to turn these guys into dormers as soon as I figure out how the arch of the roof is going to go. Um, and I'm going to fit a tower up at the top somehow, too. That much I know. When I'm going to get to that arch, I'm not entirely sure. But it'll be at some point in the very near future. Uh, that church roof is one of those things that's been bothering me for a while. Because I, I don't normally do roofs. And uh, I don't think I'm going to in the next season. Because <laughs> the next season, the Caves and Cliffs updates will, update will have been out for at least some period of time. Uh, we haven't we haven't sat down as a group and discussed when when we're doing the season changeover and all that. Uh, that is something to look for an announcement on in the near-ish, near adjacent future. Um, but uh, once the caves and cliff update is out, I'm going to go back to my old dwarven ways and build in the caves and cliffs because, well, it's the caves and cliffs update. Of course, it should be that way. Uh, and, and that, maybe he wants an excuse to be able to build that way without getting picked on for being a dwarf. No, no, it's, it's totally... I don't care about excuses. I have proven that I can build above ground mostly. I just can't figure out roofs. That, uh, that doesn't seem like much for a couple hours worth of live stream. I feel like I should have accomplished Yeah, more. that's because you didn't come down here. Huh? What? Come down where? Oh, what? What? In where you're doing the lighting project. I think we're also going to have to get on the uh, same path for the paths. Well, yeah, I just placed those grass blocks. Do we have more horses? We should probably have more horses. I'm sure we do somewhere. Uh, I can recover a few more. A couple of those guys are just horses that I grabbed from uh, the nearby area. I I'm still unclear as to why you needed to dig out all the path that was there in the first place. It made it easier to see where the lines were. You could. There's lamps in the air. Oh my. Do, do I need to worry about netherite shovel durability digging out a path? No worse than I need I, to worry I, about it. I, I really, I really Keeping thought this was going to be like a, a quick. You know, I haven't actually uh, checked to see which uh, which does more durability damage, or does it do the same? Is it the same durability to uh, convert to a path block as it is to dig? Oh, that was that noise. 
There's more of them. What? Okay. All all the workers went to work at their station. And oh. the, the Fletcher workstation sounds like a bunch of arrows hitting a target. I was like, what? I see you working there. I mean, since you're there, you want to put the right sign down, too? Uh, no. Thank you no. very much. And you promised you'd do that. Mm hmm I did. But, you know, you're there. It's not that hard. You just gotta follow the, uh... Follow the example that's already there. I'm down. Hmm? You should come look. I am. I'm right here. Because it bothered me that I put those paths there, and you can now see down into the redstone. So I wanted to hurry up and put the uh, dark oak trapdoors there. To and I think the other one was this way, maybe. Yeah. And that goes to. I take it these blocks are where the river is. That post is oh, probably. Blocks. Yep. Okay. Where's that one go? Oh, are you seriously making the walls out of iron or just the baseboard? Are you seriously making the whole wall out of iron? You should come down to my end. Oh no. Go down to the very end. That's what it's actually going to look like. You're, you're legit... Oh, are you seriously going through all the concrete? Or is that wool? Please tell me that's wool. What's wool? Oh, warp stem? Okay. Oh, you had that sideways? Sideways, yes. Okay. Uh, so I guess I should make a warp stem farm? Well, we need something, because uh, this is going to take a minute. Mm-hmm. It is. But doesn't it look cool? It does. Just be careful, because uh, there's a few spaces here where you have no room for a wall. Just, you know, fair warning. Okay. But I figure in future digs that'll also help us tell where they, um, where the, hey, there's something on the other side of this is. Yes. Uh, well, that's why I tried to put the chiseled stone in the ground. Yeah, and now we have decoration on the walls. Because, I mean, we've got enough iron. Yeah. We could use a little more, though. I guess I'll start They're working uh, on it. breaking it down into blocks. Well, right now the, ar the farm's only working at half efficiency because we got the other side blocked off until we get the church finished. As long ah. as there's uh, flat surfaces there, it's a spawning point for iron golems. Gotcha. And so they could spawn there instead of in the farm. Well, even at half capacity, it's not doing too bad. See if Medic wants to move that garden path block back by one. Because every time these lights turn on, it flips the trapdoor. Oh, huh. Yeah, we'll ask him. Yeah, re remind me. Remind me when next. I think he already uh, logged off to get back to work. And uh, 
speaking of uh, logging off, since I'm frazzled and I got most of at least a project kind of sort of done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, swing things over to credits and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Um, a little more... Uh, Alright. I'm... Scattered is not going to be the new trend. It's 2021 is not the year of scattered. Uh, I, I will. <laughs> hey, hey, hush you. <laughs> it's not going to be. I swear. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I will try to get, uh, get things a little. Well, the problem isn't the planning. The problem is the sleep or lack thereof and all the other things that are going on. I seem to have a, a knack for accumulating more projects than I can fit in the week. So hopefully, hopefully before too long, I'll have sorted a fair amount of that out. And, uh, and we'll be back on track to some regular, some less scattered live streams. We'll see how that goes. Uh... Coffee Craft happens on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, just about every week. Uh, every now and again, a holiday jumps in there. And on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I play Games Revisited. It's my look back at some classic games. Right now, I'm going through Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And this Friday, I will be starting the final quest line. So we've done all the things that you're supposed to do in the game up to the final the instance that, that propels you on to your, your last, the last quest. It's the final countdown since we've been referencing old music all throughout the stream. Go ahead. Y y you can sing the keyboard solo. You know you want to. I'm not going to. I don't want to get a copy strike. Yeah, that's my reason for it. And, uh... <laughs> I, I, I'm going to pick another game from either the NES or SNES uh, for the next season after that. I haven't decided exactly which one. Possibly Crystallis is one that's been on my agenda for a while that I, that I, I loved playing as a kid, and I would love to do it again. So uh, that's, a, that's a distinct possibility there. But uh, keep tunes. Keep, keep tunes. Tunes are what's playing. Keep, uh, keep tabs on that. If you follow on Twitch and you haven't already, you'll know when all this stuff goes live and you'll be able to join along. And likewise, the live stream archives and the videos and all that stuff go up on YouTube, which is also where the guitar videos are going to go. I'm not going to live stream the building because nobody wants to watch live stream sanding. <laughs> nobody wants to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it, much less live stream it. Uh, you know, <laughs> I want to get to the fun stuff. Uh, so the guitar videos will be uh, filmed, edited, and then published on YouTube. So if you haven't already subscribed on the YouTube channel, do so there. Uh, even do the whole bell thingy to, to get the notifications when uh, when new content goes live. Uh, everything, everything ends up there eventually. Uh, and... Yeah, that about wraps it up. Oh, if you uh, if you if you're getting fun out of this, if you're getting enjoyment, if you're getting knowledge of, if you're getting value, however you want to frame value, and you would like to give a little value back, right now, uh, the only way I've got set up is live.anonjunior.com. That forwards you over to Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about that. Uh, I, I'm going to try to get some more some more varied ways set up in the very near future, so keep an eye out for that as well. And uh, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>